Hey, little bugs. It's Big Bug, Cheryl DeVega, here at Biff Bamboos of Books. Today, we're going to read a story about a little guitar-playing ant who had a big dream of being a rock and roll star. Now, even big rock and roll stars use electric amplifiers to make their microphone and their guitar sound louder. And Rocket Red had his own special amplifier, and he called it an amplifier. It made his guitar louder so that big people could hear. So are you ready to read? Are you ready to rock? Let's find out what happens on Rocket Red's adventure. Red plugged his guitar into the old car battery. As he and the Lucky Bug Band practiced their new song, Red strummed a sweet melody for his honeybee friend, Bebop Bee. Oh, sweet bee, you believe in me. They say that I'm too small to get too far. Someday I'll be a big rock star. Mm -hmm. Bebop Bee swayed to the music and did a little waggle dance. Red's music always made her feel instantly joyful. Suddenly, Red's mom, Queenie, flew in from Colony Ant Hill. Red, stop all those antics. Put down that guitar, Queenie snapped. Get to the picnic ground and help the workers bring up our meal. Someone left a delicious whopper of a burger, and we need every set of legs we have to muscle that burger up the hill. In a flash, the band scattered. Bee made a beeline for the exit. Red looked away. His plans did not include scouting around for someone's leftover lunch and dragging it up a hill. He had fantasies of making it big like his heroes, the Beatles. Mom, can't you see how music feeds my heart and soul, Red pleaded? Your music won't feed the colony, Queenie scoffed. She raised her antenna. Redmond Anthony, go. I'm going, Red said as he trudged towards the picnic ground. Over here, Red, the ants called from the burger. It did smell yummy. But before Red reached his friends, a huge dark shadow passed over him, missing him by an inch. Yikes, Red gasped. The dark shadow came again. Red realized it was attached to a giant black shoe. He was about to be squished. The shoe came down, down. Oh no, oh no, oh no. In his biggest voice, the one he used for wailing out rock and roll songs, Red shouted, wait, please. The shadow moved away just in time. Did I hear something? The big mean looking man who belonged to the shoe muttered. Nope, there's nothing here but a pesky little ant. Ants aren't welcome at picnics, Mr. Big and Mean bellowed. He raised his shoe again. But just then, Mr. Big and Mean noticed something shiny on Red's back and he stopped. Red had to think fast. He began to play louder than ever. It sounded like a distant hum to Mr. Big and Mean. Red saw the huge face coming closer and closer. Red wailed out an old Beatles song, help. Can you hear me, help? Well, I'll be an ant's uncle, the big voice boomed. What have we here? Please, begged Red. If you don't step on me, I'll, I'll, I'll rock your picnic. Free entertainment. Mr. Big and Mean chuckled. He scooped Red up with a butter knife and placed him on top of his shoe. The seconds ticked by. Tick, tock. To Red, it felt like hours. Finally, Mr. Big and Mean spoke. Well, I guess we could use a little music. Hey gang, come on over. Red strummed and plucked and wailed. He sang for his life, loudly crooning, give ants a chance, man. But Red's little guitar and voice weren't loud enough for Mr. Big and Mean or the others to hear. And he didn't have his amplifier. He was too small. People began to walk away. No. Then suddenly, Red saw thousands of ants and uncles from Colony Ant Hill marching to help him. They brought the fiddling grasshopper and the whole Lucky Bug Band. They even brought the Beatles. 
Together they dragged the big heavy amplifier. Wow, you do believe in me, Red said, but the amplifier won't work without the battery from the junkyard car. He sighed. Then, to Red's glee, in flew B with a B-powered battery pack strapped to her back. Her friends from the hive swarmed behind her. Together they whizzed and buzzed and flapped their wings, making B's battery pack hum with power. It worked! Red's guitar came alive and the Lucky Bug band joined in. The sound got loud and louder and louder and the people heard it. They clapped their hands and roared, fantastic. They shouted, Rocket Red, Rocket Red. And the chant became his new name, Rocket Red. The people danced and sang and hooted and hollered until dark. Give us an encore, Rocket Red, they yelled. Fireflies lit up the sky while Red played his new anthem. Don't raid on my parade. The music brought them all together, big and small, bugs and beasts, and people of all shapes and colors. Red and the Lucky Bug Band took a bow on the big black shoe. Queenie beamed with pride. Now the townsfolk invite the ants to share in every picnic. This is what Red always wanted, to play his guitar and make music. His dream finally came true. Aw, oh, Bugs, that was a happy ending, wasn't it? And now, if you stay tuned, you can watch Rocket Red sing his song for Bebop B, and you can sing along. Stay tuned, and remember, you're never too small to dream big. Cheryl DeVega, Big Bug, signing off. Say that I'm too small to get too far But someday I'll be a big rock star I might be just an ant And people say I can But I can I've got a dream I've got a dream And I've got a song And you can sing along with me It's all because of you Cause you believe in me I got a dream You believe in me I got a dream Just give this hand a chance To make the whole world dance I know if only they could see Just a little bit of what you see in me If they could hear me play I'd be the first hand, be the first hand in the Hall of Fame. I've got a dream, I've got a dream, I've got a song. So you can sing along with me, it's all because of you, sweet bee. Cause you believe. I've got a dream And I've got a song